All right, guys, this is going to be an update for Turtle Wax. Um, I just want to go through what has happened since I bought it, what was the problems with it, and how I'm going to fix it. Because even though it's expensive for what it is, it still had some faults, design faults from factory, which I need to, you know, update and make them better for. Because the engine itself is pretty good. However, because they've went with plastic and some of the stuff uh, I knew from the beginning that the plastic would not last um, So I kind of predicted that and what we're gonna do in this video My dad and I will kind of have a look at it and try and update whatever is broken because it has broken and um, we'll change the plastic with metal hopefully Okay, so I'm in my dad's garage right here Hello, Dad. Hello. Uh, this is a turtle wax. Uh, so the first update we did, uh, we've changed the plastic tube that we had here into uh, these fittings. Remember, we had the plastic fitting here, which broke literally in less than two minutes. And then we added this. But even with this, if I come in really close, you will see that pressure is so much, it's actually bent the metal as well. You can see it right there. Yes. The brass, yeah. So it's bent in there. And it's bent in there. So you can tell that it's a very good engine. It's quite powerful. But some of the inner workings of it are not that great. Um, and this actually is perfect. This is working no problem. But this, as you can see, here is connected to plastic. And that plastic failed yet again. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to open it up super easy there's four screws one in there one in there one in there and there's one in there so we're gonna un untie these screws and then open up the machine okay guys so this is the uh the machine this is the electrical motor that goes in here, but inside you can see we can we have an actual mechanical uh, engine, uh, which is actually a very good engine, made really well, very powerful. However, this plastic bit that goes in there has failed. If you look really closely, if we see that line over there, that line actually is split the plastic and water is coming through there so this is completely failed and we'll try and replace this with metal now to open this it's actually quite easy you just move this out of the way and inside there there's a clip this clip and you just pull on it and try and grab it and then that just comes out. There you go. So that's the uh, the plastic bit that failed. Um, and here, let's see, there you go. Uh, you can see it split. Yeah, right there. So the pressure was so high that this plastic could not handle it and it broke now technically we need to change this entire thing into something a lot more slim simpler than this so let's see what my dad comes up with and we'll take you through the process of designing something that will last many years to come okay guys so this is the um the fitting that we have that's uh, failed us uh, because of this crack here so what we need is to replicate this in metal. Now, we measured that from here up to here is a 22 inch um, pipe. So we can do a quick measuring now. Yeah, we need to know how long it is. Oh, how long? Okay, let's measure how long it is as well. It's like uh, 150 millimeters. Okay, perfect. So we found some 22 inch copper met uh, piping. 22 millimeters. 22 millimeters, okay. So obviously this, it would have been scrap, but we repurposing, right? Recycling is healthy for the planet. So we're gonna use this. Uh, 
This one we're going to cut and we're going to reduce it to uh, with this reducer right here. So this reducer is going to go on top of this and then that reducer is going to go into this 15. We're also repurposing this. Now the reason we're doing that after reduce here to the 10 mil. Yeah, because if you hold these because you can see here, we have 22, 15, and 10. So you can see there's three steps, two steps, but three different sizes. So we've got uh, one step and second step. So that's why we're trying to replicate this exact same thing. So we've got a 22, the 15, and the 10. So that's pretty much what it's going to look like by the end and then we need to think of a way to cut this two bits here uh but that's uh for a later date um to try and figure out uh, let's see if we can replicate this and we'll take it from there all right guys so this is the final piece as you can see we had it like this so this is where the water comes in we're still using the same one um that we used before uh same fitting here we replace the plastic with the 22 uh, copper pipe and then we have the reduction to 15 and then from 15 we're going to 11 and this is how for this now the other clip I lost I was very very upset about that um, but that's pretty much uh, what we made hopefully this one will last technically forever until the engine just dies so we'll do a dry test on this and we'll update you on the final results okay so it's pretty simple work all right guys so we've just plugged it in with the replacement uh we did a dry test but just fine and then we did a compression test and that works just fine we have a very very slight leak right there because we didn't have the uh, yeah the rubber piece that goes in but well, we've used something else but other than that it was perfectly we'll do a full test tomorrow we'll wash a car and we'll see but other than that the engine works perfectly compression very good and uh, everything else looks good I think this will last many 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 years only if they could just do this from factory this would have been the perfect the perfect compressor, water pressure.